Hi guys, here we have HTC's flagship of the year, the M8. The M8 sports gorgeous looks, clad in a body made of 90% metal with a brush finish at the back. It looks extremely premium and stylish. Without a doubt, the M8 is one of the best looking smartphones in the market today. The smooth and curvaceous body is quite slippery though. Loaded in terms of specs, is powered by a 2.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor along with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage and you can add more up to 128 GB using micro SD cards. Since this is a unibody design, the back cover doesn't come off. The memory can be added via a slot on the right. The SIM goes in a tray on the left and do note that the M8 accepts only a nano SIM. HTC's boom sound speakers are there of course, carried over from its predecessor. The ultra megapixel camera at the rear is also inherited. But the duo camera setup is one of the M8's key highlights. The duo camera setup comprises of this additional depth sensor placed on top which as the name implies captures depth related info for all the images you capture using the rear camera. Coming to the display, this is a 5 inch full HD display of the Super LCD 3 variety. It's brilliant to look at with crisp visuals, great viewing angles and very good sunlight legibility. As far as software is concerned, the One M8 runs Android KitKat which is layered with HTC's proprietary interface Sense version 6. Blinkfeed is there of course, placed on the leftmost side with a vertically scrolling app drawer which can be customized by changing the grid size. You can also hide apps as per your needs but you can't create custom folders in the app drawer. The M8 also supports a variety of motion launch gestures making it easy for you to access your device. The screen also supports double tap to wake up. Talking about the camera performance, the M8 throws up some very good results, especially in low light. That said, the camera does pale slightly in comparison to other flagships such as the Samsung Galaxy S5, especially as far as daylight shots are concerned and this is mainly due to the low resolution sensor on the M8. Some details look slightly washed out but that said, it's still a pretty good camera and in most cases, it will not disappoint. As far as performance is concerned, the One M8 performed brilliantly without any signs of hiccups or lag. Even intensive games like Shadowgun and Riptide GP2 play very smoothly and of course it doesn't have any problems with the usual day-to-day -day tasks and productivity related apps as well. As far as battery life is concerned, the M8 is powered by a 2600mAh battery which doesn't look too beefy on paper but the real life performance tells another story altogether and the battery life on the M8 is extremely good and even with heavy usage, lasts us comfortably through an entire working day. Priced close to 50,000 rupees, the M8 is at par with other flagships such as Sony's Xperia Z2 and the Samsung Galaxy S5 and at that price, the M8 comes across as a very strong contender, standing out due to its premium build and great looks. The performance is very smooth and battery life is excellent with perhaps the only area where it lacks being its camera. The duo camera of course is pretty handy and enables a variety of cool effects. For your money, the M8 is a very good buy, especially if you are looking for a stylish smartphone that you love to flaunt and is a very capable performer as well. This is Deepak signing off.